Alrighty, everyone, we are back. I'm just going to sprinkle in a little more of my mirror. I'll put like a third cup in. There we go. That's all. Now that sake mirror and soy sauce balance. This is an actual mirror. Takara mirror. Versus just this uh, rice cooking lime. It's going to be used as... Which is like very much like Miri. I haven't noticed the difference between the two. I'll just stir it with my spoon over here. I'm just going to put the heat up hotter because we want to bring this to a boil. lower the heat a little bit. Stirring. We want to bring this we want to bring this sauce mixture to boil letting the alcohol cook off. Don't be afraid to take a little taste. Once it let it cool down take a little taste of your sauce. Mmm. It's getting there for me. So we're just gonna continue to let all the alcohol here, alcohol here cook off. Now, some recipes tell you to add sugar. You can add sugar if you want, if it's not sweet enough for you. And that will actually help thicken the sauce, the sugar. If I, I don't, I've never actually made this before, so I don't know how it will taste to me and how it will taste for my family. But if you actually find that, um, if you find that it's n the sauce is sweet enough as it is, I'm actually going to teach you to make a quick cornstarch slurry, which will thicken the sauce by itself. Or which will thicken the sauce when you stir it in, rather than having to add sugar. But if I find that the sauce isn't sweet enough, because teriyaki is meant to be like a really sweet sauce. Sorry, I'm just going to add the sugar in. Alright, our sauce is coming to a boil. We'll lower that to, me we'll lower that to a lower heat. Or if they medium low. A little hot. Mmm. It's tasting really good. Really good. Um, maybe I'll give it a couple more seconds boiling. Then I'll take a little taste once it cools off more. The alcohol does need to cook off a little more. Now it's at a boil. So once the sauce reduces by about a third, which should be soon, I'm going to actually start doing our cornstarch slurry. I want them to cook up a little more. It's a little bitter kick to it from the, um, the alcohol, but it'll come off soon. This is tasting real, it's so good. Hmm. Always remember to taste and test your food while it's cooking so you, in order to get the maximum goodness out of it. Mm, yeah, that's starting to get really good. I'm gonna add in a, you know what, here's what we'll do. We're gonna improvise a little bit. I'm gonna do the cornstarch slurry, but I'm gonna add a little sugar to my, the cornstarch slurry. I'm just gonna add a little teaspoon. This is my half teaspoon. I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon of sugar to my cornstarch, to my cornstarch slurry. And I think that's gonna let me have a little, not too much more sweetness, but just a little more sweetness, but not have too much sweetness. 
So I just put a little teaspoon of sugar into my cornstarch syrup. Before I do that, I'm just going to add one more taste. Honestly, you might not even need it. It's a little bitter. I'll, just, I'll do it just in case. And then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. I'm going to mix that together, and then I'm going to gently stir it into my my sauce. And that will that's going to thicken the sauce. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Four tablespoons of water. Two, three, four. So mix a slurry together. This is what the done slurry looks like with a tablespoon, with the, not a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of sugar. And I'll slowly drizzle this in. Thicken the sauce into a nice glaze. And the sauce is a lot thicker now, which is good. Yes, we have hit the desired consistency. That's perfect. That's great. I'm loving this. So glad I decided to add the teaspoon of sugar. This is so good. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna stir in a tablespoon of sesame seeds. You can omit this, but I like. But I think that this is gonna be good for for crunch and for uh, flavor. A little bit of water disaster there, but that's fine. Just a little water. Darn, I dropped it. I'll get a new one. It's a brand new jar of sesame seeds. So I'm going to have to. Rice is done in a minute. Rice is looking solid. Yeah, sauce is coming to its own. Do a little cleaning as we going. We do a little clean as we go. Oh, it's a-okay. It's all good. Last thing I have to do for this is just grab my tablespoon. Pour in my sesame seeds. Just stir it around. Stir all the sesame seeds around. Make sure they're Everything all there. That's good. 
And just right on cue, that's time for our rice. Turn our rice off. Take our makeshift Dutch oven lid off, and our rice still looks perfect. This is going very well. This is going very well. Take a little taste of our rice. Sorry, I'm just gonna let it go a little more. Now I'll just move my teriyaki sauce back. If you want, you can run that through a strainer. If you want, you can run this through a strainer and filter out all the aromatics. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm not gonna do that just yet, if at all, but just make sure you don't have any aromatics while you uh, enjoy your teriyaki sauce. But this teriyaki sauce can go in a container and be stored for a couple of months. So I highly recommend doing this. You can do this with fish. You can do this with pretty much any protein. And now we're going to be, now we're going to be, and now we're going to be cooking our chicken. So now we're just going to be cooking our chicken thighs. We're going to be letting it cook at its own fat. So we're just going to take our four pieces of chicken that we dried, that we and cook them skin side down. We have salt and pepper on them already from pre-preparation. We have a little stickage problem. Now we're good. We'll put in little bits too. Chicken thigh meat. Just sprinkle them all around. And then we'll just turn this heat up to medium. And let our chicken cook. We're going to let the pan come up the temp with the chicken inside. But the main part of this dish, our teriyaki sauce is done. What we're basically doing here is we're letting our chicken fat render and come out and liquefy. It's going to give us a nice crispy skin and it's going to give us tenderly cooked chicken. Heating my teriyaki sauce on a simmer to keep it warm. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to be curious about how it developed over time. This is good. You hear that sizzle, that's the chicken fat coming out as a pan comes up to temp. And then we're going to be prepared to have our chicken thigh. Then my tongs just be prepared. These aren't gonna be ready anytime yet. And y'all got my, my thermometer so I can check and test. See how we're getting that nice browning? We want more of that. Oop. Let me just go face down. Ah, go back face down. But this skin is getting a lot more crispy than it would have if we had just if we didn't pre-prep it last night. Now we won't 
disturb it too much. Gas bubbles escaping, we'll turn our vent on. Alright, let's check our skin. If it's brown and crispy, we're gonna flip to the other side. We need we want more browning on that. Ah. Sometimes chicken cannot be the most fun thing to cook on these pans. We want more browning on that. Sometimes you really have to get under it to pull the chicken skin off. You want more browning anyway. Now we just wait for this to be done. That's perfect browning, we'll flip that over. A couple more seconds there. This one, that's perfect. This one, what are we looking at? What are we looking like? Uh, a little more. Curiosity, I'm just gonna check the internal temperature on this. It's like 130, so it'll be done soon. Like 170 we're going for. Sorry, 170 we're going for on this. Alright, we have browning there. Is that a yes? That's a yes. What about you? Are you a yes? Yep, yep, yep. This is looking so good. I'll get our two plates. I'll get my little sister. Right now in the background, I'm just getting two plates out ready to serve the chicken uh, spoon. Get my serving spoon of rice. Your 
Let our chicken go just a little longer while I get the rice out onto the plate. That's looking good. Really liking how that's looking. These are all looking really good. I'll check my temperatures. That one's done. Now it's going up. See where I'm splattering. What about this one? This one needs more. This. That one's done. We'll check the other one in a bit. This one's done. That one is not done. Put that just back in for a second. There's a little bit of raw chicken that was still on the top of that one. That one still needs more time. So what I'll do is I'll move this to the flame. That's looking so good. That's done. That one needs just a second more. This one's done. That's done now. And that's our done chicken. Some more chicken bits too. Now that that's off, Wonderfully coated glaze. I'll turn this off, and then now we're just gonna have our plate of rice. You could, you can absolutely do a vegetable with this. I just didn't have any on hand that I can do. I'll take another pair of tongs. Then I'll take a chicken thigh. 
dunk my chicken in the wonderful teriyaki sauce. I'm going to put more on in a second with a spoon. In fact, I'll take this chicken again and dump the rest of it in. Get nice and dunked in. Put it right on the plate. And that's chicken teriyaki. So I was, I'm really glad to bring this to you. And I hope that you guys have fun making your chicken teriyaki and serving it. So to everyone, I'd say have a great day and tune in for next time. Bye-bye.